That's not good. I once again have completely submerged my quad underwater and sunk it, but the difference with this time is I could not get it started again. It is way out in the field, which is next to the pond. So today we have to do a full on recovery mission to go pick it up with a trailer and the tractor because it is such a gnarly area. All right, we're gonna go fire up the old 1954 or something tractor because this thing is stuck out in the swamp and we gotta pick up the four wheeler to do that. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Get it gassed up. You always, oh. You can only put in as much as you want to burn because it leaks all over the floor. Out here, past the swamp, so we gotta go pick it up, and then we're gonna fix these things, and then we can get into testing them. It's a lot deeper than I expected back in here. I think we got the boat tail lights for it. <laughs> All right, let's get this beauty up in there. <laughs> Liam Reed almost killed me, almost drowned. Sir, successful recovery. No big deal for the Chalmers. She is gonna leak out the three gallons of gas that I put in. <laughs> okay. I am not pulling this thing by hand. Trusty golf cart's gonna do it. Oh, 
All right, so both of these four wheelers do not run. The Bayou, obviously I sank, and the Honda, we don't know. So we're gonna get into tearing these down and getting them fixed for tomorrow. I really don't know what that is. That's the nastiest. That's the issue, that gas is bad. We're gonna drain that. Turn your fuel tank right here. Oh yeah. It's doing a good job. All right, this Honda here, we got all that bad gas drain out. We're gonna let it sit overnight and kind of air out and then tomorrow we'll fill it with new and run it, which is just a temporary fix until it gets a new gas tank. So now we're gonna move on to this Bayou, which who knows what's wrong with it. I'm gonna throw it on time-lapse and kind of show you guys what we do, but it just, it sucked in a bunch of water. So it's gonna be a bit okay. Yeah, I wasn't kidding when we said sink. This thing's full of water. All right, after a super long time tearing this apart, ended up finding out that it jumped timing and the timing chain is so loose, the tensioner isn't working right. And then in the process of trying to adjust it, the tensioner pushed the little bar itself out and it dropped down into the engine case. So now to fix that, I have to pull this entire engine out of the four wheeler. So unfortunately, that is gonna be it for this video. Uh, hopefully I'll put out another one of like tearing this whole thing apart, but I'm gonna do a timing chain while I'm in there. But sorry guys, I'm this kind of sucks, but. Bye. Bye. <laughs>